select the bezier curve and also select the spiral and simply draw a line you can hold shift if you want to have a corner a sharp corner enter when you're done all right let's go to fill select none let's go to stroke paint and give it a color choose white also change the width to uh, 2 alright after done now if you don't have this path effects dialog opened simply go to path and path effects there you go this one alright now with the object selected go to path and object to path to apply the uh, path effect that we had before Select this plus button and search for power stroke. Select the power stroke. Now the, we have the effect applied. We have some settings there. But first, I want to show you how we can uh, change the stroke width in the viewport. So go to um, select by nodes. I'll zoom in a little bit. As you can see we have three pink nodes. With these three pink nodes we can control the width of the strokes. Now if you want to add another node, hold control and click over one of them. And then drag it. This way you can add uh, you can add uh, nodes to control more. Uh, to have more control, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Let's say you want to delete a uh, node, you simply hold Control Alt and click. Control Alt and click. Alright, so that's it for um, what we can do in the viewport. So let's, let's go back in these settings here. And uh, let's start with the first one. So we have the first checkbox, sort points. I will give you an example by adding another node. As you can see when I move the other node and it, pass, it passes by the other node without, in, without uh, adding any uh, issues or something, it simply controls the width of the stroke wherever the position is, whether, wherever the position of the node is but with the, this one disabled as you can see we got this result and it, uh, well with it disabled disabled you um, you get the uh, uh, it pre preserve the uh, order of the uh, nodes that's what I'm trying to say anyways I don't like to keep it um, enabled can add some great effect though. Anyway, let's go to the next one, which is interpolate type. Simply gives you the type of the interpolation. Nothing much I can say. Simply the type of interpolation between nodes. You have cubic bezier Johan, cubic bezier smooth, linear, and other stuff. So let's go back to cubic bezier Johan. With this one enabled, you have the control of the smoothness. So let's see how the uh, this one affects the viewport. As you can see, changes the smoothness. This works only with the cubic bezier Johan. You need to keep it. You need to keep that in mind. All right. So let's go. Let's keep it. Uh, to uh, the uh, the center pill to uh, anyways let's go to start cap and the end cap as well so the start cap and end cap simply change the type of cap that you want to have square round but peak and zero width is one that I like yeah perfect now let's go to the other option that we have which is the join 
So wherever you have a corner like this, uh, you can change the type of uh, joint that y you need or that you want to choose. So you have spiral round and bevel, and you have also some other stuff. Meter. So I want to talk about the meter a little bit. So with the meter enabled, you have also the meter limit, and the meter lim meter limit works only with the meter enabled in the joint. So let's say you have a very sharp corner here there and you got this weird result so if you have this you want to change the middle limit to something high so you can avoid this uh, uh, problem I like to keep it in a spiral alright we have one thing left to cover which is the width scale uh, scale and which gives a um, overall scale of the width of the uh, stroke or path like a general width we still have the control uh, for the uh, uh, you know still can control the width with the pink node anyways one thing I wanna mention is that you need to have handles for all the uh, points so I selected that and uh, as you can see now I have no handles for this node. As you can see we can get some weird results there. So make sure you have handles in each uh, each uh, node. So let's give this node a handle. Here choose make selected node smooth and then one click on make selected node sharp. Now you can tweak the handles and make a corner without having any uh, problems alright thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next uh, life path effect tutorial take care everyone